Everybody, this is Peter Chuck Halasari today. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I'm going to be shaving today with a, a, a new soap, um, Winter Forage. So here's a sample from MV Shave. So Nathan Clark is a friend of mine. I got to tell you a story about Nathan. Now, oh, and I'll be. This is one of his. I have probably nine or ten of his uh, brushes. Uh, this is a really cool looking one. I put a plus on up on that. So uh, this is Winter Forage. Um, so you can buy this at envyshave.com, so that's his site, and, um, it, everyone knows Nathan Clark at Envy Shave for making brushes. He makes great brushes. He's been working on a soap for, for a couple years now, and I remember, God, what was it? Eight months ago, nine months ago, something like that. When he first told me, he came up with a soap. It was just very plain. It was like a lime uh, soap that I ordered from him. He didn't give it to me. I ordered from from him, and uh, I was shocked. I said, "Oh my God, this is like uh, somebody who's been established for years." I mean, the performance was amazing on it, and but he never did anything with it. He was too busy with you know making brushes and stuff like that, but. Uh, and it's a vegan soap, but man, it performed like you wouldn't believe, like a well-established artisan. And then he just stopped. He just stopped making soaps. And um, out of the blue, I called him uh, maybe three months ago, something like that. And because I was thinking, Jesus, if he's not gonna uh, do anything with the soaps. Maybe I'll buy the formulation from him. I don't, I don't have time to experiment and make soaps, but I was considering making soaps if I can get something that was really good so I didn't have to experiment and spend so much time. And I mean, he worked on it for two years. I don't have, I don't have two years. I don't even know if I have two years to live. So I don't have two years to, to research soaps. Anyway, so long story short, he didn't want to do it, but... He, he he admitted to me, kind of jump-started him to getting back into the game and making some soaps. So he started doing that. So this is the end result of that. Uh, he's also going to be making a soap for me for the club, which is good. But this is a new soap. This has got like, um, so it's great for this time of year. It's got uh, uh, pine needle. It's got um, holly. It's got... Um, um, going by memory, woody notes. Um, so it's like like you're in the in the forest, and you know he wrote up a description that you you know gathering acorns and berries, and it's got patchouli in there. Um, it's just a really really nice scent. Just some spicy notes. I I I get a, a he didn't mention this in the in the write up, but I get some cinnamon in here. I think it's cinnamon, uh, but just a little touch, a little touch. Um, and it may not be, it may be something else, but I, oh, I put a little, I can't find my, any of my, uh, what the hell is this? I don't know if it's still recording or not. I think my battery's about to die. So maybe I, I need to make this quick. So, um, I forgot where I was. I saw uh, some kind of no notification. So I don't know if it was still recording or not, but anyway. Um, so he started making soaps again. Oh, I know what I was saying. I couldn't find any of my uh, shaving uh, soap bowls. So I'm using some a soup bowl from the kitchen. But his his, uh, his soaps are all really, really nice. Oh, oh, I got to show you something. Hold on a second. Um, I got some stuff in. Check this out. Heart Steel. So that's the box it came in. Beautiful packaging. Six eighths. I got it for practically nothing. Heart steel for my first heart steel razor. Um, I paid one thirty five for it. Amazing. Oh, beverage of choice is a Chilean Cabernet. 
right? So I, I like uh, Chilean wine. So uh, <laughs> cheers. Oh, this is very good wine too. Very nice Cabernet. All right, where was I? Oh, I have to be quick. This battery is going to die. I'll just shave maybe until it just stops. But the lather on this is great. So anyway, Nathan didn't... Uh, obviously, he's still making soaps. And he's he's going about it, in, a, in a, I think, in a big way. So I think he realizes that he's onto something. And uh, this is good for him. I don't have the time anyway. God. Thank God he didn't. This is why I don't have the money. But... More importantly, I just don't have the time. I mean, look at me. I'm a mess. I haven't shaved since my last video. I've been skipping breakfast and lunch almost the entire week. It's too, it's too, we're at a, at a point now. So I, I'm so busy with my real job. And that comes first, right? Thank God for my wife. So my wife was laid off a while ago now. It hasn't been I, not quite a year. Um maybe nine months ago. Uh, th thank God she's here to, to do the fulfillment and all that stuff. But we're at a point now, um, so I, I don't have to deal with it. Um, we're at a point now where we're, we're so busy, but we're not busy enough where we can hire somebody. We're not busy enough where I, I need an addition because the whole house is filled with stuff. So we're, we're at that, that point, but we're not there. We're not quite there. So we're in that, that, that threshold, that pain threshold, where you're kind of stuck right, right in the middle, just working your ass off. And it's, I've been working 18 hour days for the longest time. Yeah. Freaking amazing. I, I don't know, let me wet my face. So I haven't wet, I haven't shaved in a while. <laughs> a good long while. It's good that, in a way, I have hypoglycemia, so I'm not supposed to skip meals. But by skipping meals, I've been losing weight. So it's been melting off me, which is good. But look, look at this lather. Freaking Nathan. The, the guy knows how to make brushes, and he can make damn soaps. The other thing I can do is, uh, I can't even shave well. I'm not even that good. I can talk. And not even that well. Well, I don't know. But very, very nice. Look at this. His soaps are no joke, you guys. They're, it's no joke. So, I don't know. I think he has this in stock. It smells great. It smells great. Really, really nice scent. Very, very, very nice. All right, so this is called Winter Forage. For the sake of time, I'll do, uh, who the hell knows what I'll do? We'll see. Uh, we'll go into the battery. Oh. Hmm. So it's beautiful, but it's grabbing. What do you, and listen, for 135 bucks, I'm not, I'm not going to complain, but uh, it's not quite shave ready. Damn it. Obviously, it's the first time using it. All right. I wanted to show off my skills. <laughs> Shaving with a straight. Going to the assassin. All right. So that's, a, I have no idea. This is the blade that I think that I said I needed to change. As the, so this is uh, a Voskhod. This is going on five now. I think the last time I used it was on a video. And um, I think I said it was number five. Look at that. Still, still good. Look at that. Not bad. So anyway... I haven't watched I haven't watched any football games, so what, what, I don't know what time it is now. But I'm gonna put on the Patriots game. I've been working all day today too. Uh, issue popped up with the site. 
playing around with adding uh, new apps to do things. And you have to be careful because there's always, it always ends up jacking up something. And in this case, when so a new member tries to, uh, be, be, when someone tries to become a new member, they click on PayPal, nothing happens. Worst thing in the world for a business. People can't sign up, which means that they can't pay. Oh, we're looking at that. And it, it sucks. Cause it, it's been working. So I know it's because of an app. I know it's because of the app. So we gotta fix that. Look at that. First pass. Great, great. So I'll rinse off. And that was like four days of growth, I think. Oh, you wanna see something? Oh. Wearing a, a Tampa Shaving Company shirt. Um, hold on. Cheers. Excuse me. I want to show you something. So I mentioned about um, Nathan Clark that I wanted to get into soaps, maybe making soaps. I don't want, but I don't want to go through all the work. I, I, I like things to come easy for me. So anyway, that didn't happen. But I, I'm, I've been playing around with oils for a while. This is the first soap that I came up with, where um, I created the scent. So El Gaucho for the for the club. This has worked out well. So I had an artisan make me um, soaps, and I created the um, the scent on this. So I, I, the the feedback has been great. So I'm happy about that. Now I want to show you the stuff that I just introduced. Bad habits, bad habits for the club. It smells amazing. I had about 18 people test this. Feedback was fabulous. I went through the the, uh, the stink group. So shaving soaps and good stink, all the guys that are into frags. And I asked for um, guys to raise their hand to anyone who had and loved Guerlain Habit Rouge, which is this. So that was, in, uh, this is inspired by that. That just came out, it smells wonderful. And this is a new barbershop. So barbershop two is coming before barbershop one. Um, this is quite different. This has a unique, uh, so like a typical barbershop, it's got that powdery, but it's more of a, so it's an amber based powdery, some lavender, some jasmine, but, uh, but it, the amber is the show of, of this. So uh, amber base on this, smells great. That's uh, two new, uh, new um, soaps, cheers. So, let's just finish up. Did I rinse? Yeah, I rinsed. We'll just do one more pass. Look at this. Nathan Clark. Okay. He's a goofball. I, I like having fun with uh, Nathan. I like busting his chops. He, he's good at busting them, too. And I met him at Big Shave West. I think that was the first time and the only time I met Nathan. But it's funny with these, you know, when you talk to guys, you know, we've uh, actually had FaceTime each other before. I've interviewed him. Wait, did I interview him? We did a, I think we did a video together. I think. Um, but anyway, you get to if you get to know these guys, and even if you never meet someone, like with Ray Pope, I, I met him once. But prior to that, you know, we busted each other's chops for the longest time. And when I f first met him, it's just like, you know, just like he always knew him. I need to call him. I haven't spoken to him in, so in quite, quite a while. Another guy gets me in trouble. So, anyway, that's about it. That's all I got. I went, last week, I went out shopping. It was earlier this week. Oh, no, it was just a few days ago with uh, Biggie C, Chris Cullen of Katie's Bubbles. I met him down at uh, <laughs> the mall at Short Hills. 
I think he picked that on purpose. No, I know why he picked it because his Penaligans is there, and he knows that I like Penaligans. And I picked up uh, Penaligans uh, number thirty-three, and uh, number nine is here. And I picked up uh, uh, this one. So number, th I, I think I like number nine. I really like them. They're both really good, but I like number nine. Very, very nice. Um, so we went up there. He made me spend my money. On the way out, he freaking takes me to the counter at, at uh, Neiman Marcus to show me Creed. I refuse to even look at Creed. And then he brings me to the next, the next uh, counter. And what's it? Hermes. And then he said, oh, you gotta smell this, you gotta smell that. And of course, the, the women at the counter, they're starting to drool because he's talking like he knows what he's talking about, which he does. And he's selling for them. And of course, I'm a sucker. So I end up buying this. So the box it comes in. And it's, I don't know how to pronounce it. Concentrate de Pamplemousse Rose. And it's got like a citrusy or like grapefruit. I don't know what, it, what the hell is it. it. Just I just know it smells good. So he made me buy that. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done in more ways than one. All right. I'm not even going to go with a, a... I need to shave again tomorrow. I've got a, on deck... I look at this. So, I, I mean, I could do a third pass. I'm not going to, but look at this soap. I've got um, Chad Irish's uh, uh, soap. Talbot. What is it? Talbot Soap Company? Talbot something. Um, he sent me a sample. I can tell you I haven't shaved with it yet, but it smells great. It smells wonderful. And Chad, Chad is like one of the nicest people you'd ever want to meet in the entire world. So um, I'm looking forward to, to trying that. And I told him I'd be honest with him. So I told him if it sucks, I'll tell him it sucks, but I, I know it's not going to suck. He's like, a, he's a perfectionist. So he wouldn't send anything out that uh, wasn't, wasn't quite good. And it smells really, really nice. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to finish up. I'm not going to even, I'm going to rinse this off. I'm going to watch football. I'm going to drink some more. All right, you guys, take care. Enjoy the rest of the, the weekend. Take care. Bye.